What is up guys, it's David and Toby here from MC Spotlights and we're popping onto a YouTube video to tell you about one of our favourite new upcoming games. Ta-da, it's Block and Load. If you like Team Fortress 2 and you enjoy Minecraft then you are going to go mad for this game because it combines the two. Let's take a look at it. Block and Load is a first person tower defence game, you're given three power core crystals to defend. But unlike games like TF2, you get to build all your own defences in a Minecrafty style. Dig up blocks, put down walls, attack and defend throughout the map, and all while trying to destroy the other team and their cores. It's a pretty fast paced and crazy game and playing style changes depending on which hero you choose. There are currently six heroes to choose from in the block and load beta, ranging in classes. Let's take a gander at them shall we? Sarge Stone is the frontline assault hero with a vest, a headband and a whole lot of gun to use. He's great for assaulting the enemy position head on, partly because he's shielded when he sprints and partly because of his machine gun and rocket launcher combo. The only hero tougher is Cogwheel, the metallic tank. 100% assault, Cogwheel is a slow moving, hard hitting hero with a full machine gun and mortar cannon to play with. He's great for defending a position or if you're playing aggressive for overwhelming the enemy position with firepower. Of course, if you're after doing more long range damage, turn your attention to Nigel Purdy Longshot. As his name suggests, this spiffing British chap carries Nelly, his beloved sniper rifle, as well as a revolver for short range fighting. Find yourself a firing nest, build yourself a vantage point above the battlefield, and pick off any unfortunate stragglers. If you want to dispatch your foe up close and personal, you're looking for OP Juan Shinobi. No, I didn't cough, and no, we're not confusing our franchises. OP is a ninja, shrouded in mystery, wrapped in an enigma, and bundled up in a roll of black crepe paper. His katana allows for silent, highly damaging attacks, and his secondary ninja star can bleed your foe. His vanish skill allows you to quick tail to the nearest shrine, his unique block, and his wall climbing skill is great for bypassing defenses to get to those sneaky kills. Of course, we can't all be sly and swordy, in fact Anthony Tony Toretto is almost the exact opposite. A master of indirect warfare, his turrets and speedy building skills give him the edge when creating defensive positions, and should any sneaky foes wander into your base, his shotgun should see them off quickly. Now, throughout all this bullet exchanging and button mashing, someone's bound to get hurt. Not to worry though, Dr. Eliza Doolally is here to patch you up. Our last class is a medic slash chemical attack hero, healing her teammates and lobbing AoE corrosive attacks left, right and centre. Even on death, a cloud is released so anyone waiting around gets a nasty surprise. If chemical warfare is your cup of tea, don't be drinking from Dr. Doolally's mug. You've met the heroes, let's quickly show you the tools they use. Blocks, traps and machines, all our heroes have special abilities they can use against the foe. There's some standard blocks that most or all heroes have from bricks to bombs, but each hero has a special block. Sarge's satchel charge, try saying that five times fast, is a cheaper, quicker and more focused version of the bomb. Nigel's ticky head tower hits your enemy with a dizzying dart when they get too close, great for defending small places and firing positions. Old OP Juan Shinobi has his ninja shrine, allowing him to vanish and appear wherever he's placed one of these blocks. Tony Toretto's nail gun turret is a brilliant machine, especially when defending your cores with its 360 degree firing arc and fast firing mechanism. Similarly, Cogwheel's sprocket cannon can fire a volley at your target when the right skill is activated, enough of these cannons can really mess your enemy up. Lastly, Crazy Dr. Doolally has chemical mines that are as lethal as they sound, dispensing a cloud of poison gas around any foe silly enough to step on one. All the blocks, both the unique and the standard ones, cost resources which are gained by mining other blocks, killing and damaging enemies, and generally over time, terraform the landscape to create the perfect killing floor or an unassailable fortress. I think the point we're trying to make with all this is that the game is really fun, we've played it to death and we'll be playing it even more, in fact we have some videos planned for you. We're going to go and play this game a little bit more, get some let's plays up so you can see how fun the game is. We'll also try and talk a little bit in more detail about some of the gameplay, some great defending and attacking techniques and that sort of thing. While you're waiting for those videos, Curse is hosting a massive block and load beta key giveaway. We'll link it below for you to grab yourself a key and get playing. We're done with this video now, so while we go and play more block and load, maybe win a game or two, why don't you subscribe to this channel? Not only will you get news of when the next three block and load videos are, there's lots more fun things happening. Feel free to follow us on Twitter, and we'll catch you lot in the next video. Enjoy the game.